so hello everyone today i am going to discuss about how to create a dynamic height collection view and dynamic height collection view cell no today's topic is simply topics and small topic how to create a dynamic height collection view and dynamic height collection view cell now first of all we're going to create on this view controller command and progress class and this is a ui view controller ui view controller okay now first of all you're going to create on the ui view controller this is a ui view controller now first of all we're going to create on this command and dynamic height collection view cell by using calculate ui collection view cell sorry not a collection view cell command and now we're going to create on the shift file dynamic height collection view cell calculate content of width content of width okay you want to create on this kind of content of width calculate on this Content calculate content of width content calculate content of width. now we're gonna get on this cell dynamic height collection view cell okay now for dynamic height collection view cell calculate width of content import UI kit import UI kit okay now first of all we are going to create a dynamic height collection which is type of UI collection view cell now we are going to create initializers and configure sub method for configure and required initializer ok and now first of all we are going to create on this main container view this is the view no this is simply view and now we are going to configure sub method we are going to add on this container view self self add on this container view ok now first of all we are going to create on this height constant which is type of ns layout constant and height constant is equal to 1000 ok and is equal to dot is active to now we are going to create on this system layout size fitting what is system layout size fitting return the optional size of the view based on the its con current constraint return the optional size of a view in this method return the optional size of a view based on the its current constraint so now we are going to first of all create on this height constant dot constant constant is equal to target dot size and we say apply this target which is the CV size ok and return main container view this is the main container view our main container main container view dot system layout fitting size target size view dot horizontal fitting layer property horizontal fitting layer property vertical fitting layer vertical layer layout fitting priority ok now we are going to create on this static fung expected size height which is type of cg float return cg size ok let let v is equal to um, size dot in it and we, we dot system layout fitting size width is 0.0, .0 and height is height we are set on the expected size and uh, with horizontally fitting priority dot fitting dot fitting size level vertical fitting priority dot required dot required ok no second thing we are going to create on this dynamic naming collection view cell naming naming collection view cell This is a naming collection view cell. Naming collection view is type of dynamic height collection view cell calculated with the constant. This is a, in this constant, in this cell which is type of dynamic height collection view constant. We are going to create in this model which is type of string and we are going to create on this method. We are going to import on this UI kit. Import UI kit and 
model which is type of string and column is update by method date set okay and uh, title label so this is a constant potential okay now first of all we're going to create on this title label and title label wrap on this title wrapper okay title label wrap on this type of title wrapper we're going to apply on this constant now let's simply constant apply on this title label where top anchor leading anchor trailing anchor bottom anchor and we're going to apply on this corner radius and background color okay and configure sub you add on this method to colors and configure the title wrapper add on this main container main container this is a default dynamic with constant container main container you can add on this main container top leading trailing and bottom and update ui method title level text to the model okay model which is type of update ui method this is get set code and add on this naming the expected size height and model which is type of string and series size cell is equal to naming collection cell cell dot model to model and mm, cell dot model which is type of string and pass on this string and return cell with is 0.0 height is height uh, fitting size level and what is required okay now you know this is a view controller access on this cell first of all we're going to create on this names array private var names which is type of array of string and set on this string suppose this is a multiple string add on this suppose this is a not is a good day and uh, fabulous working okay this is a fabulous work and set on this multiple string array of string okay second we're going to create on this stack view and scroll view stack view and scroll stack view we're going to create on lazy bar stack view and we're going to create on this scroll view lazy bar okay and we're going to apply on this constant at top left right bottom constant this is a method at top left bottom constant we're going to add on this constant on margin padding this is a um, simply used and common use of method so scroll view we're going to create a stack view and scroll view okay and second thing we're going to create on this title label and subtitle label and title sub label title label and title sub label title label example of dynamic height collection cell title sub label example of dynamic height collection cell calculated by the width okay now second thing we're going to create on this collection view and height constant so this is a collection view and height constant we're going to create on this var property height constant and its layout constant which type of an as layout constant and for some rep now we're going to create on this collection view and set on this register on this cell naming collection view cell and now we're going to create the um, collection view property delegate and data source method and height constant dot collection view suppose this is the firstly height on this collection view one not a thousand thousand and height constant dot is x2 is equal to true now second thing we're going to add on this data source and delegate method delegate and data source method on a collection view delegate and data source method as on collection will remove on this error no okay so second thing we going to add on this view did load view did load so this is a view did load okay this method collection view dot reload data and scroll view add on this view default view and title label subtitle label we going to apply on this constant title label and subtitle label and scroll view we going to add on this constant to simply add on this constant on a view and stack view dot add space 12 and add stack view dot add a collection view stack view add on a collection view okay and this is the view appear method and calling on this update ui collection view height update ui collection view height this is a method and height is equal to collection view collection view layout dot collection view content size dot height this is a content size uh, this is a calculate height by using content on your card suppose this contains multiple content and and height constant is equal to constant is equal to height and set dot view dot layout of needed okay second we're going to check on this collection view data source and delegate method so, so this is the number of item in section name dot count and we're going to sell for item index path access on this cell so cell cell dot dq reusable cell identifier naming collection view cell let data is equal to name dot index path dot row and cell dot model to model return a cell now we're going to use ui collection view delegate flow layout method 
Firstly, we're going to create on this model set dot name dot index bar dot item. We're going to create and return naming collection set dot expected size. Act expected size methods for on this. This height is height and model is pass on this model. So we're going to pass on this height is thirty four and model is pass on this model. Our um, access on this index bar and collection view dot minimum line spacing for section at twelve and uh, minimum enter. Item is spacing for action is 12. Not applying for the minimum inter item is spacing, and uh, not applying on this agent set. Suppose this is a not applying on this agent set. Not applying on this did select methods. Okay. So this is a view controller pass on our storyboard, and this add on this storyboard. We are on this project. Check on the dynamic height and collection. Dynamic collection view and dynamic collection view height. Check on this dynamic collection view and dynamic collection view height. This is a each cell calculate our height and width is automatically. Suppose this is a result. Hello, everyone. My wonderful. Okay. Now in this application, this is a one. This is a cell. Calculate the height of constant. Calculate the height of constant. Hello, everyone. My wonderful. Suppose this add on this subscribers. So, okay. Now we're going to run this application. This is a calculate the height of content of your cell. Calculate height of content. So this is a hello, everyone. By wonderful subscribers, and this is a. Add on this multiple minimum enter spacing and collection of item cell. Wonderful subscribers. So this is a title label. Apply on this title label and uh, title label. You can apply on suppose this is a board system sizes third to seven. You run this application. This cell is largest cell. Suppose this is apply on this largest set and this. Is Hello everyone, my wonderful subscribers. So this is largest text. Notice the next line. Suppose this is height of constants, view controllers, and notice the um, error of constants. Suppose this is removing the wonderful. Okay. So this is calculate the height of constant in your with collection views, and uh, this is set on the dynamic height and width. And your collection view. Suppose this is apply on this minimum enter minimum line spacing minimum enter item spacing. Suppose this is a zero, not a minimum enter item spacing. So this is a zero spacing, not item in minimum enter item spacing. And minimum enter item spacing zero. Thirty-four not apply on this collection view delegate and data source methods in your view. So this is a dynamic height collection view and dynamic height collection view view. Okay, command Z and apply on this admin. Suppose this is add on this and uh, add on this minimum line spacing and uh, UI agent set. Suppose this add on this UI agent set. Top left, top and left and right. Not a top. Okay. Now on this application, this is the right and top UI agent set set is twelve and twelve. This add on this multiple cell. Note is uh, add is one cell. Accurate is another cell. Suppose this is a uh, minimum internet spin zero. Now on this application, so this is a calculate height and width in your dynamic height collection. Suppose this is a array. And uh, now we can run the applications. This is a head dynamic height collection view. This is a dynamic height collection view. Navigation bar is written. This is a dynamic height collection. Suppose this I add, I add a multiple items. You know. Not affect in your UI. This is a dynamic height collection view. 
एंड डायनेमिक हाइट कलेक्शन विथ सेल नॉट इफेक्ट सब दिस इज ए नॉट इफेक्ट इज ए डायनेमिक हाइट कलेक्शन यू एड ए मल्टीपल आइटम्स इन योर कैलकुलेट दिथ एंड दिस इज नेविगेशन बार थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो